let us learn few important and relevant things about this novel coronavirus. If you know your enemy more than yourself, you never lose a battle, as is said by Chanakya. So we must know our enemy in depth and details. Gandhiji also first learned everything about the British in Britain and South Africa, so he could make them to quit India. We have to make Corona to quit India. Varna koi rone wala nahi bachega. We have to learn to live with this Corona, but also we have to learn to fight it. Fight it out, fight to finish it. Because some people in some countries will not stop eating exotic, live, uncooked, non-vegetarian food. So every 10 years there will be a possible relapse of this kind of wild viruses and such kind of pandemic. With some help and inputs from Pune's National Virology Institute and few private laboratories, we learnt a lot about this virus. Having done few in vitro experiments, we know it a little better now. By the way, it is interesting to know that the word virus is derived from Sanskrit word vicious, becoming vicarus and then vicarus in Latin and virus or virus in English. Even today, in most European countries, it is still pronounced as virus. Only in the America, it is pronounced it as virus. A virus when outside human body cell is actually technically known as virion. Outside of a living cell, it is almost like a dead particle. It cannot breed and multiply itself outside a living cell. When a virion enters a living cell, it becomes active, it becomes alive, it hijacks the cell nucleus, ribosomes and Golgi body apparatus, multiplies and then exits the cell comes out in environmental air or water and becomes virion again. One single virion once enters one cell can multiply into up to 1.75 lakh viruses in 24 hours. Thus, of all living things, virus has highest multiplication and fastest progeny. Rapidly multiplying cells such as viruses, bacteria, fungi and cancer cells need a huge amount of chemical and photonic energy. Such cells are known as fast and furious or energy hungry cells. Such hungry cells absorb thousands of times more energy than static cells. When they are fed with UV photons or gamma rays energy, they absorb it far more and die in the process. Normal cells will not die because they haven't absorbed so much energy. This is the fundamental principle of cancer chemotherapy or cancer radiotherapy as well as UV therapy it also works on the same principle. This is Wuhan bat, the root source of this novel coronavirus. This bat likes fruits, especially banana. Because of small stomach, it cannot consume whole banana. So he throws half-eaten banana on land, which is then eaten by this pangolin. Pangolin cannot climb trees. There is a friendship, de friendship developed between these two. There are 82 types of coronaviruses in saliva of these bats. Because of half-eaten banana, these salivary virus now have come into pangolin's mouth. Both bats and pangolin's raw or uncooked meat are special exotic party and festival foods in Hubei and other provinces of China. So this virus made a species jump from animals to humans. Coronavirus was first detected in 1957. There were corona epidemics in China in 1962 and 1967 also. But China was a close country with iron wall around it and international air travel and sea cargo in general, as well as in particular from China, was minimal. So the virus didn't spread worldwide. With globalization, world became a global village, and once China became open economy, their virus started flying out. 2002 SARS-CoV-1, 2009 swine flu, and now this seventh strain of novel coronavirus, 2019. 
SARS is a short form of severe acute respiratory distress syndrome. COVID-2 is coronavirus 2 and COVID-19 is coronavirus infectious disease 2019. So SARS-CoV-2 is the virus, the infectious agent and COVID-19 is the disease which is caused by this virus. These viruses have protein-like spikes like the diamond-studded spikes of a king or queen's royal crown. Corona is the Latin word for crown. Therefore, these viruses are named as coronavirus. You can imagine this virus like a spine gourd vegetable, which we all know as Kantola or Kankoda in Hindi. Or like green fruits of castor oil plant, Erand tel ke phal ke jaisa. Like potatoes, they are pleomorphic, which means moderately variable in shapes and sizes. A spherical virion will be approximately 120 nanometer in diameter, whereas an oval will have 60 nanometer diameter in short axis and 120 nanometer in long axis. That is approximately 1 gem 2 ovality. It has two spikes, S and HE. S spike is made of glycoprotein, that is sugar protein, fluffy like a candy floss. An S spike is for virion's entry into the human mucosa's goblet and epithelial cell. And short small HE spike, which is heme agglutinin esterase spike, which is new formed virus's exit spike. Let me remind you here once again that because of these spikes, the name corona is derived. It has a large single large positive sense RNA of almost 30 kilobytes in length. Positive RNA means a messenger RNA. So as soon as virus enters a cell, it starts to make its own copy and the infection has started instantly. A negative sense RNA virus has a built-in delay in this process because after entry, first it has it has to convert its genome from negative to positive sense RNA. Only positive RNA can initiate genome copying mechanism instantly as soon as it enters the cell. This single strand huge RNA is almost 30,000 bases or 30 kilobytes, which encodes for 9,860 amino acids. Normally, human body produces only 20 types of amino acids. This is the reason why it creates a biochemical storm, a huge chemical locha in our blood, which is known as cytokine storm. In this electron micrograph, you can see the huge single strand genome. If influenza virus genome is like a snake, then coronavirus genome is like anaconda. Endocytosis means entry of a virion into the cell. Exocytosis means exit of viruses from cell. This is the animation. The virus first latches onto a receptor known as angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptors. Once it locks itself onto the ACE2 receptor, the cell believes it as a normal chemical and it pulls the virus in to the cell itself. Once it enters the cell, it hijacks the nucleus and ribosome and Golgi body apparatus and starts making its own copies. They make lakhs of copies in uh, 24 hours. So one virus becomes uh, several lakh virus in one, uh, one day and then they come out by exocytosis process. This is the real process of endocytosis and exocytosis as seen under an electron microscope. SARS-CoV-2 virus has high affinity for our WBC cells. Virus is so small that one WBC can be packed up with 1.4 billion 140 crore viruses. That is almost equal to India's total population. SARS-CoV-2 virus also has very high affinity for red blood cells as well as hemoglobin. While it causes hypoxia by binding itself to hemoglobin, it also produces few chemicals very identical to, to our four happiness hormones, namely dopamine, endorphin, serotonin, and oxytocin. This is the reason we see so many patients of happy hypoxia. Exactly like bacterial septicemia, which is blood sepsis, 
in later phase of covid infection these dying viruses release some death proteins which causes another form of cytokine storm which leads to intravascular blood coagulation disorders many a times even in covid recovered patients just imagine that this virus even after its death produces chemicals like a spider saliva and form a net around red blood cells which leads to formation of sticky clumps of red blood cells which attract more and more and like a rolling snowball or like a rolling moss stone becomes bigger and bigger leading to formation of giant clots few autopsies and few post mortem ct scan uh, revealed massive blood clots in heart and lungs major blood vessels so even after fighting out and recovering from covid up to 3 to 4 weeks all such winner should be in constant touch with their md physicians to keep a watch on silent intravascular clotting disorder in the initial phase of pandemic when this phenomena was not yet well understood or not seen we have seen quite a few young recovered patients suddenly dying due to massive single heart attack after few days induced by these type of clots how small is this virus one covid infected ill patient can harbor as many as 70 above 70 billion viruses to make the patient ill that is huh, 10 times the world's total human population 1 crore a 40 lakh infected persons in the world are there by now one virus's weight is 0.85 atogram so total dry weight of all the viruses of all these total covid patients combined is only about 8 grams this tiny particle of just 120 nanometers has taken the entire world as hostage when the year began it was all sweety rosy and pinky but before the first quarter was over it became so scary and shaky but there is a light behind it at least we have seen it in the form of uv light so far we have been on the defensive against this virus now we should be like this kicking them out if we cut out wings of a bird it cannot fly same way if we cut out spike proteins of this coronavirus it cannot infect us as soon as uv light photons strike the virus at 500 microvolts power its sugar coated spike proteins are denatured and dna is coagulated and the entire virus is inactivated just in 4 seconds it is just like a scorpion whose sting claws and jaws have been blunted and cut out or like a snake whose teeth are removed then this virus is uh, no more infectious such uv inactivated viruses can work as natural vaccine you can read this research paper in detail just for info fluorescence is the property of a chemical who will absorb short wavelength deep purple or uv light and convert it into glowing green like phosphor or radium most rna virus including coronavirus genome has this property so when in enough numbers they glow green in deep blue light so in this microscope photos you can see in a that human throat mucosal cells before uvc are heavily infected containing lakhs of h1n1 influenza viruses in b we can see that at 0.8 millijoule uvc dose viral load is half cleared in c at 1.3 millijoule viral load is 70% cleared at 2 millijoule in d viral load is 99% cleared and by 3 millijoule dose all viruses become dead and all cells become totally free of viruses this research was done by dr david welch and his team at columbia university of new york in 
This paper was published in peer-reviewed journals in 2018. This is the recent most study done by same authors group at the same institute, published on 29th June 2020. But this time study is done on human lung fibroblasts type MRC5 with human alpha coronavirus as infection agent. And we can see the same results, 99% viral load reduction at 2 millijoule UVC dose as seen in, in this picture. Same results are seen in another study by the same group, but this time on WI38 type of human lung fibroblast. An infection agent this time is human beta coronavirus. These studies were done for UVC 222 nanometer. I want to remind you here that peak germicidal UVC wavelength is 254, which is more powerful. They have done several other such studies on various tissues and various viruses and bacteria's combination and permutation of infections with various wavelengths of UVC light. These multiple studies prove that any type of virus hiding in any type of human cells will be killed by UVC light at the same dose, 2 millijoule per centimeter square for 99% clearance, 3 millijoule for 100% clearance. No virus can survive UVC and the statistically calculated but unproven theoretical possibility of a human cancer arises only when we exceed the dose of 157 millijoule. Before we conclude this talk, we want to explain a bit more about RT-PCR because it is relevant and important for the next video. Viruses do not multiply and grow on petri dish agar agar <coughs> like bacteria or fungi will grow. Viruses multiply and grow only in live animal or human tissue cells. This type of live viral growth tissue is very, very expensive to make in laboratories and it is a very high potential biohazard. So it is very, very strictly controlled by all the governments. So normal testing laboratories in periphery are allowed only to create copies of viral genome, only the genome, not the entire virus. This in vitro synthetic process is known as RT-PCR. RT-PCR is a short form of real-time reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction. Virus sample is taken from nasal and oropharyngeal mucosal cells secretion or saliva by a sterile swab. Sterile swab is put into a viral transport medium. Viral RNA in laboratory is first converted into a messenger RNA in the incubator and then it is converted into an equivalent DNA. Then this DNA is copied in batch cycles. Every cycle will make, let us say, 1000 copies of DNA. This DNA fluoresces and shines green in deep blue light in microscope. When there are at least let us say 40,000 DNA copies in a sample of 40 microliters, only then the green color fluorescence is strong enough for machine's photosensor to detect its presence. How many times the machine has done polymer copies of DNA before it is seen as green is known as cycles and the, and the value where the uh, DNA starts appearing as green is known as cycle threshold value or also is known as CT value in short. Uh, this CT value is completely different from CT scan score of COVID-19 pneumonia. This information is for general understanding. The figures are only approximate. RT-PCR's CT value is usually shown from 1 to 40 cycles. CT value is inversely proportionate to viral load. If the viral load is very heavy in a sample, let us say 40,000 viruses are there in each microliter of the sample fluid, RT-PCR test will detect green viral fluorescence in the first cycle itself. <clears throat> if the viral load is less, machine has to run many amplification copying cycles. If there is no viral green fluorescence detected, even after running the machine for 40 times copying cycles, then the test is declared as negative. Guidelines for CT values. CT 1 to 16 means very heavy viral load. ICU admission is advised. CT 17 to 24, high viral load. ICU admission is advised. 
CT24 to 30 moderate viral load, COVID isolation ward admission is uh, advised. CT25 to 31 low viral load, home quarantine under physician observation for 11 days is advised. CT 32 to 40 asymptomatic, uh, these patients are usually asymptomatic and home quarantine for 11 days is advised. CT equal or above 41 is a negative test report. Let us now learn how can we kill coronavirus with UV light in humans as well as in environments. Please watch our next video, Corona Ka Nash. Thank you very much.